Today's lesson is three parallel lines theorem and triangle angle bisector theorem. Okay, yesterday when we talked about the proportionality theorem, we talked about when I have two parallel lines, when I split above and below are proportional. So this is the same thing, but instead of in a triangle, I have three parallel lines. So the definition of the three parallel lines theorem states, if three parallel lines intersect two transversals, then they divide the transversals proportionally, which means equal fractions. So I can see my three parallel lines with my symbol here. I know the parallel lines because I have an arrow not on the middle. So my lines UV are parallel to WX. Line WX is parallel to line YZ. And what is proportional is from U to V, I'm sorry, U to W, I'm going to make this up a little higher, hang on, U to W, <clears throat> U to W divided by, so here is my middle line. So here is my above and my below. So my above and my below. Above and below. So above divided by below WY. And that's going to equal above Vx divided by below xc. So just like the last assignment, I like to turn these in the direction and just draw so that my math is the same direction as what the fractions are. Okay, find the length of the given segment. So I'm trying to find the length of BD, so if I'm try, trying to find the length here. So here is my fraction line. So I'm going to say above BD divided by below 30 equals above 16 divided by 40. So the distance from B to D is going to be 30 times 16 divided by 40. So the distance from B to D is 12. So I like to just turn my paper the direction. Okay, find the distance from J to M. So here is J to M. So here is my dividing line. So here's my above and below and above and below. So I'm going to set up my fractions, 15 divided by 18 equals 16 divided by J2M. So J2M is 18 times 16 divided by 15, which is J to M is 19.2. Okay, so here's a real world. Find the shortest distance from South Main Street to Second Street. Here is South Main Street. Here is Second Street. So the shortest distance is always perpendicular. So it's actually asking me to find the distance from G to H.
Okay. So I am, here's my dividing line. So this is going to be 120 divided by from G to H, 150 divided by 300. So the distance from G to H is going to be 120 times 300 divided by 150. So the distance from G to H is 240 yards. Okay, so let's try our second theorem. This is our triangle angle bisector theorem. It says if a ray bisects an angle, then it divides the opposite sides into segments who are proportional to the lengths of the other two sides. So I'm kind of going to do the same thing. I'm going to make my fraction bar here, and here's my above and below, and above and below. So the distance from A to C divided by the distance from B to C is proportional to A to D and B to D. Okay, so I'm doing the above and below thing again. All right, so let's do some examples. Find the variable. I like to turn this the direction I um going to do my fractions. So here is my uh, fraction. So I got 4 divided by 6 divided by y. So y equals 6 times 8 divided by 4. And y equals 12. Okay, can you try number five? Can you pause the video and try it? So here is my dividing line. So this is going to be 3 over 4.5 equals z over 1.5. So z equals 3 times 1.5 divided by 4.5. And when I simplify, z equals 1. Okay, so 6 and 7 just to have an extra step in here. So again, here is my dividing line. So I can see my 15 and my 21 pretty easy as my fraction, but I just have a whole number here. So this is asking me to find the distance from x to y. So I'm going to call this distance x. And if the whole thing is 24, I know this distance is going to be 24 minus x. So if I'm just given the whole distance, I'm going to divide it up into x and the whole thing minus x. So my other fraction is going to be x and 24 minus x. Okay, so I'm going to cross multiply. So I have 21x equals 15 times 24 minus x. I'm going to distribute here. So I have 21x equals 360 minus 15x. So I'm going to add the inverse, which is 15x. So this is 36x 
x equals 360. So I'm going to divide by the coefficient next to the variable, which is 36. So x equals 10, and we said x is the distance from x to y. Okay, can you pause the video and try number seven? So number seven is asking me to find the distance from r to s. So it's defining r to s as x. So q to r is going to be the whole thing, 15 minus x. So I'm going to set up my fractions. 7 divided by 13 equals 15 minus x over x. So I'm going to cross multiply. I have 7x equals 13 times 15 minus x. So 7x equals 195 minus 13x. So I'm going to add the inverse. So I'm going to add 13x to both sides. So I have 20x equals 195. And I'm going to divide by the coefficient next to the variable, which is 20. So I get x equals 9.75, and this is the distance from r to s. How did you do?